Hello and welcome to this video course on ranking your YouTube channel higher. All right, so this is video number one, and this is gonna be the introduction to the YouTube video traffic course. Now, before we talk about the course, I wanna make sure that you're in the right mindset. So I wanna say that the goal here is to focus on building a brand. If you can start thinking that way, you're gonna have a long-term strategy, which will actually help you not only in the YouTube traffic and getting ranked on YouTube and getting natural organic traffic and all of that, but it'll also help you in many other ways as well. Now, while that may not make a lot of sense right now, it will in just a second. Now, this is not about throwing hundreds or even thousands of backlinks at your YouTube channel properties or videos. What you really want to do here is to focus on quality and not quantity here. And by doing that, it will actually help you in the long run, as you'll just see in just a minute. So before we get started and talk about the course, what I want to do now is give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. Video number one is the introduction, of course. Video number two is what this is not about. And I want to make sure that I cover this because a lot of times when we talk about ranking on YouTube or Google or getting traffic or of any sort, there's a lot of assumptions that are made. So I want to make sure that we cover those assumptions and possibly roadblocks that are blocking your way. Video number three, we'll talk about what Google wants and the strategy. If you understand what Google wants, then it'll make more sense on what the strategy is all about and how to implement it correctly. Video number four, we'll talk about the ring, which is the strategy here. And of course, video number five, we'll talk about how to automate the ring. Video number six, we'll talk about account creation. And video number seven, we'll talk about how to outsource the account creation and the very tedious process of building the ring. And of course, video number eight, we'll talk about testing this out. And while that might seem a little bit simple, it really is and does take some time to make sure that everything works. So with that said, let's talk about getting started and what you're going to need. You're obviously going to need a product or service to sell. You're going to need to have a YouTube channel. You're going to definitely need to have money to outsource. If you do it yourself, it's going to take about a week or sometimes two weeks. But once it's set up and is good to go, then everything is automated. But at the end of the day, your time is valuable, so I recommend just outsourcing this process. But knowing how everything works and all of that will allow you to teach whoever you outsource this to, or you can pick to choose people that we will recommend that we have used personally to set things up for you as well. So with that said, let's move on to video number two. Hello and welcome back. This is video number two, and we're going to talk about what this is not. One of the biggest mistakes that we see a lot of people make is they assume that they, they know certain things, they know the strategy, they bring in what they already know and what they've seen work and automatically assume that that is what the strategy is about. But by doing that, what ends up happening is we see that people set themselves up for failure. And we don't want that for you. We want you to be able to succeed as much as possible. So that's why I'm covering what this is not. All right. So to ensure that you're able to successfully implement the strategy, we want to discuss things that you do not want to do. So as I mentioned earlier in the previous video, this is not about throwing hundreds or even thousands of backlinks at your YouTube channel or at your properties. In fact, YouTube has become very, very smart in figuring out if you are actually gaming the system. 
So what we're trying to do here is think of a strategy that works long term. So you want to focus on quality and not quantity here. It's better to get a few backlinks that are of quality rather than getting thousands of backlinks that don't even relate to your content. And we're not talking about automated softwares either. So like I said, Google's very smart in figuring out how to detect fake backlinks or computer generated backlinks. They're able to detect patterns. So what you're trying to do here is not follow any sort of pattern whatsoever. You want to make sure that it looks natural as possible because otherwise Google will penalize you in the future. It may not be this month, may not be this next year. It may be the two years later kind of thing, or it might be even this month. So what you really want to do is focus on a long-term strategy that is going to last. Now, obviously we're not going to know exactly if the strategy is going to last or not, but part of the strategy is figuring out what Google wants and fulfilling that. Now, one secret to knowing whether a strategy will last or not is to ask yourself these questions. So this strategy, along with other strategies, you should ask this question over and over. Is this a shortcut? And does this seem spammy? And best of all, will this upset your visitors? So the people that are coming to your YouTube channel via google.com or any other site, is this going to upset them? Because if it does, then guess what? Google is not going to like what you're doing because they care more about the people that go to Google and or go to YouTube and type in a keyword. They care more about them because they are who they are catering to, essentially. So now that that is out of the way, let's discuss what Google wants, which is really the crucial step in understanding why the strategy will work. So now that you have an idea, don't upset the visitors. If it's spammy, if it's a shortcut, this is going to upset them, right? So what is it that Google wants in relation to this? Well, we'll talk about that in the next video.